Here's what John McCain said back in 2004 to a meeting of the Council on Foreign Relations. Let's listen to the exchange. The group's chairman was Peter Peterson, who said, quote, what would or should we do if the post-June 30th period, and during that period, a so-called sovereign Iraqi government asks us to leave, even if we are unhappy about the security situation at that time. In other words, we don't like the conditions on the ground. I understand it's a hypothetical, but it's at least possible. Here's what McCain said when asked what we would do if the Iraqi government told us to leave with a timetable. Well, if that scenario evolves, then I think it's obvious that we would have to leave because if it was an elected government of Iraq and we've been told to leave other places in the world, if it were an extremist government, then I think we would have to have other challenges. But I don't see how we could stay when our whole emphasis and policy has been based on turning the Iraqi government over to the Iraqi people. So John McCain says, if they give us a timetable or tell us to leave at a specific time, we'll do it. Do you agree with that? Yeah, this is not an extremist government. So no, we're, we're you packing would, our bags and we're going no. home. We, 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 that's exactly what's happening right now. We're bringing troops home right now, Chris, and violence is continuing to drop. It's at the lowest levels it's been since this war began because the surge has created the conditions where Maliki is now strong enough to make these kind of political statements. These are complex. Why do you keep calling them political statements? Why do you keep calling them political statements? What do you mean by a political statement? Because right now the government of Iraq and the government of the United States are negotiating over a status of forces agreement. And this is part of, this is all within that context. Who are they He's negotiating make these with? Statements. They're negotiating, they negotiating with the with? State Department and, and the, how do they, and the how do we United have, States government. How can government? we tell them after the end of this year that we're going to stay in their country if they don't want us there? If, if they formally asked us to leave, I believe we would. They haven't they done have. so. This, seemed, no, they haven't. pretty formal to me today, Pete. No, Come this on, is a negotiation. Today. I These mean, are negotiations. Absolutely Chris, not. Chris, you know Absolutely this is not. not. They've not formally uh, looked the, in the, the camera The purpose and said of the American leave. military is to protect our country. And the five surge brigades that went into Iraq last year should have gone to Afghanistan. And because of it, Afghanistan's falling apart right now. It, now you have a country that doesn't even want us there. And you guys want to continue an occupation that destroys our military assets and takes us completely out of the fight against bin Laden. It's, it's absolutely Prime ridiculous. Prime Minister Maliki absolutely also ridiculous. said yesterday that uh, the terrorists this in this country have been defeated. And they've been defeated because our surge brigades went out there and took the fight to Al Qaeda and to Iranian backed militia. And you say Al Qaeda is not one, in Iraq. The, the largest to attack Laden, in Afghanistan to happened yesterday. Hiri. You have our NATO they, allies not meeting their missions in Afghanistan. John, I can talk, on the you loose can talk. Afghanistan. Okay, gentlemen, what I find interesting here is the news. You know, for months now, the debate in America is between those like John McCain who have talked about a long-term uh, participation in that country, a long-term commitment of U.S. troops in that country, perhaps 100 years, staying in that country for many years, like in Korea. Now we find out that the Iraqi government does not want us there with permanent bases. They clearly don't want any American bases over there unless they're working under the leadership, in fact, the orders of Iraqi officials. And they want us to set a timetable for leaving or else leave immediately. That runs completely against the rhetoric we've been hearing from the administration, from John McCain, who have been saying they don't want to cut and run, is that they don't want to surrender, they want to stay there for 100 years. And now the Iraqi government itself comes out and says, we want you guys out of here now or under a timetable and no permanent basis. That completely undercuts the Republican administration's position and McCain's position. Chris, is that not I don't all see good how news? it doesn't. Chris, is that all not no, good doesn't news? Doesn't it undercut their argument? It, it, it actually in reinforces the argument that if you surge, you can create the political space for Iraqis to stand I'm up, which is exactly because when, when, when we got guys dying in Iraq, you say we need to keep troops in Iraq. Okay, let's take a look when, when now. When we're winning, John, you say we got to have troops stay in Iraq. Nobody nobody died. Died. Both sides of the argument. And John, let's listen to what the president has said and, and Senator McCain has said. Let's look at the history here. The party of FDR and the party of Harry Truman has become the party of cut and run. If we were to leave before the job is done, the enemy's coming after us. Right. President Bush has talked about our staying in Iraq for 50 years. Maybe 100. If we do what Senator Obama wanted to do, wants to do, and that's immediate withdrawal, that would mean surrender in Iraq. Okay, that's what they've been saying, and now we're hearing from the Iraqi government. I think, Pete, you and I obviously disagree on this, something different. But here is the ad that your group has been putting out. Let's watch your group's position on this campaign issue. Served in Iraq. I fought in Afghanistan. My son is fighting in Iraq. We all fought. We're still fighting. We're still fighting. And today we're winning. Casualties are at an all-time low. Al-Qaeda in Iraq is decimated. The Iraqi army controls most of the country. These are the facts. They can't be ignored. We changed strategy in Iraq. And the surge worked. Now that's change we can believe in. We need to finish the job. We need to finish the job. No matter who is president. 
So over the next four years and eight years, what does finishing the job mean, Pete, if the Iraqi government has basically called for a timetable for us to leave? Chris, finishing what's the job... What's finishing the job mean? ...is exactly what's happening right now. As no, we what is it home, for the next four... To answer the question, Pete, what, over the next four to eight years, what does finishing the job mean if the Iraqi government has told us they want a timetable for withdrawal? Finishing the job means an Iraqi government that doesn't allow haven to our enemies in al-Qaeda and Iranian-backed militias, which is exactly what's happening. As our troops come home, violence is continuing to drop. This is good news. Okay. These are great things. So it's good news that the Iraqi government is telling us to leave. Abs I mean, that's political progress. These, and I, they haven't formally done so, Chris. This is part of a negotiation over a status of forces agreement. They have not formally said we want you to leave. They're communicating to their own people, to our people, trying to okay. negotiate the best settlement they can for their long-term situation. Okay, which is very John, good. We're John, battling it on the Pete political is saying spectrum. that basically what they're saying is for home consumption. That's not really what they want I, us I to do. I think absolutely it's for home consumption. Think about it. You have a democracy now in Iraq, and a majority of Iraqis don't want us there. Yes, we do. Okay, so Sadr doesn't want us there, and these are all part of Maliki's coalition. So Maliki cannot keep a popular public statement that he thinks we should have a long-term, 100 years presence that John McCain wants in Iraq. It's very similar to the problem our NATO allies are having in yeah, Afghanistan. Let me tell you, having lived and watched through the Vietnam War, I never heard the Vietnamese government tell us to leave. This is a staggering development. It's the a Iraqi great government that we've been giving our blood is telling us it's time for us to go. That runs, in, to me, directly counter to John McCain talking about a Korean-style situation exactly we're there for 100 years. It's exactly because of folks like Senator McCain who stood up and called for a surge How and had the judgment to do so. How can we be there 100 years if they Chris, tell us to leave? He Senator called for McCain's a change in the war. The attacks I'm asking are down you, over 90% in the last John year. John McCain talks about a 100-year occupation. How can we stay there if they tell us to leave? How can we stay if they tell us, to, they leave? Tell we us to leave? We won't. We, we won't stay if they tell us to leave. They okay. haven't formally done so. They're negotiating, Chris. Okay. okay, thanks very much. Keep Pepe.